Richard, the official Nato channel and Reeks.com, and we're in the show floor of Rico Foods at Chicago. And I am here in the AI's booth with my good friend Kate. How are you, man? Oh, pretty good, Richard. Yourself? Great, great. Now, a few days ago, you guys made a like announcement that you guys had a new lights from AI. We did. Tell me a little bit more about them. So we came out with a few new renditions there of our HD model. Okay. We do got the uh, 32 HD in the center here that we're displaying, and we're displaying with some 64s. On the other side, we also got the Prime 16. Uh, they all have HD technology. We did change from Wi-Fi to Bluetooth, so okay. it's gonna be a lot stronger connection for you, a lot more reliable there. Yeah. Right when you're around that fish tank, you're gonna connect without any issue. Now, what are they replacing? So our older models that we had, we did have the 26 HDs and the 52 HDs. Basically how we have that, the 26 HD had 26 diodes. We did upgrade there a little bit more. 32 HD now has 32 diodes in it. Gotcha. So it is more powerful. The diodes that you see are gonna be a little bit smaller, but overall it does pack more of a punch, a more even spread as well. We did actually tie in TIR lenses, which was Ecotech technology that we right, took right. over and helped with these lights. So it's gonna give you a more even spread and a much more even par spread as well. What are some of the difference, the noticeable difference that you noticed from the new units? So with these units, first things first, we did make them slimmer. Okay. So it's one of those things everyone always wants a sleeker profile with it. Right. So we made it slimmer. They are more water resistant. We yeah. did take the power cords from being connected directly to the back of the light. Yeah, yeah. And we ran the cable from there with the grommet to that. So it makes it more water resistant. There are more diodes there in it. We do have a cool feature too, the moonlight channel. Mm -hmm. That will get videos there of later to show you. But the moonlight diode in it, it actually is very faint, not gonna do anything to the fish tank, but when you do run it, it's gonna give you a natural moonlight uh, coloration to that tank, which I think is pretty cool. Very awesome, very awesome. One thing I really nice, a nicely thing that I really noticed was uh, this is the old um, fixture, right? Correct. And then I noticed these things, clips. Correct. So these are now back backwards compatible with older. Yep, exactly. Okay. All of the older mounts will work with the new ones. They're the same footprint on the top. So if you do have the old mount, all you need to do is unscrew it, put your new light in, it's gonna work. Yeah. Uh, they do work too with some other style mounts too as well. So it's right. not anything that you're gonna have to modify greatly. If you do have some of the older ones and you yeah. need the clips, reach out to us, we could help you there with that. Even gotcha. with the Hydra Flex arms, there's a new bracket that comes with it since they are sleeker, but it'll work without any issue. Gotcha. And then these new clips, I guess these are done because these are, I guess, wires or gauges are a little bit more thicker? Correct. So the cables that we are using are more thicker, does make it a little bit hardier too as well with it. So instead of like the old one running through the channel yeah. uh, it just basically helps keep it tight in and gives a nice leak profile coming down right I guess it also like changing with the Bluetooth interface maybe it, it, it does a little more it, a little less interference with the noise and such right? exactly gotcha and would this be Mobius compatible as well so it is something obviously we're looking at going into the future but yeah. I mean only time will tell there with that gotcha you said earlier that you guys made it a lot more slimmer is there any other changes that that is noticeable for making it um that uh, well difference in what we do to, with the lights and maintenance wise or anything like that so yeah cool feature obviously uh like the old styles with the 26 and 52s the fan guard does come out easy to clean right really cool feature with the prime 16 that i want to show you guys if you don't mind follow me over then okay. uh really makes maintenance easier okay so what's the new feature here so we are over here at the prime 16 their slimmer profiles will work with all the old mounts I think one of the coolest things, if you do have a current prime that you are using, you'll notice the top fan guard does build up there with dust over time and it's kind of hard to maintain. You gotta take it down and clean. One of the features that I find really cool, you actually can pop off the top fan guard oh, okay. and it makes the maintenance so much easier. So you can either use compressed air, blow this out, wash this out, dry it if you need to, right. and then clean out that fan really well. So it makes maintenance a lot easier, it'll run a lot smoother for you over time. Right, we always say if it's easy, people will do it. Exactly. If it's difficult, then it's people we won't We made do this it, you know? as easy as you can to clean that fan out, so. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Kate, for spending some time with me and to show us uh, some of the new innovation from AI. And I look forward to more great stuff from you from the future. Not a problem, I always like working with the Richard. Have a good day, buddy. You do the same.